Hello and welcome back to the LiDAR Mapping Script version 3 setup video. In this video we'll talk about the optional and more advanced settings for the script. Uh, first up, uh, you may have noticed when we finished the basic setup video that I was tracking one of the enemies, I think that one, but then we lost it. Now, it took me a while to realize why, but the reason is at the corners of the grids facing out and up at a 45 degree angle are blind spots. As you can see, he's about to travel through one. And when they do, it ends up accumulating errors in the calculations for where they're going to be. Um, and when they come out the blind spot, the new predicted position is incorrect. So I introduce in version three, rotor mounted cameras. This is the basic setup. Uh, you can build them pretty much however you like, provided you follow this uh, basic setup here. And that is that you need one rotor facing up, one rotor facing left, right, and a camera facing uh, perpendicular to the top rotor. So base rotor facing up, down, top rotor facing left, right, camera facing perpendicular to the top rotor. Uh, four blocks is all that is required. There's the large grid version, but that's kind of unwieldy. This is what I like. Uh, large grid base for a large grid ship, or, or you just use small grid base for a small grid. Um, with a small head on it. And then the small grid rotor with a little platform, and you can put as many cameras as you can fit on there. So what we'll do is we'll take a copy of this guy, and we'll come over, and we'll place one on each corner of the grid. Um, one on each corner, top and bottom, is um, preferred, but you can place them on the side uh, of the grid as well. And it'll work, but it doesn't do as well as placing them on the corners, or near the corner. It doesn't have to be exactly on the corner. So now, a couple of things we need to do here is we need to add the rotors to the uh, LiDAR block group. Save. And then we need to add the new cameras to the LiDAR block group. And since I have nine of them, do nine of them four times. It's a little bit of setup. And save. Okay. So now, all we need to do is come in here and recompile. And you'll notice they all move to scanning in the blind spots. However, this guy has decided to scan the ship over there. Um, and they'll, they'll track anything within um, a given radius of that blind spot. They'll only track the closest thing to that blind spot. And that's pretty much it for the rotor mounted cameras. Um, and that will help alleviate uh, losing objects um, as they pass through the grid's blind spots.